Okay, we're looking at the index laws, and first of all, we're just going to start with um, the multiplication of the first index laws, which is concerned with multiplication of numbers in their index form. So, uh, the first index law is a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. What I'm going to do to prove it, and what I'd recommend you to do if you're ever trying to prove a formula or a theory, is replace the prime numerals or the variables with a very small sized number and it makes it nice and easy. In this case I've used a equals 2, m equals 2 and n equals 3. Um, you can use any numbers you like, I've just chosen these numbers. Okay, so you've got the formula a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. Uh, a equals 2 and m equals 2 and n equals 3, so we've got 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3. That would equal 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now we quickly work that out. We've got 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. That is our answer, 32. Now you can quickly obviously see there that that's 2 to the power of 5 because you've got 2, uh, two 5 times. But uh, we'll go through it anyway. Um, so a to the m, so you've got a which is 2, uh, m equals 2 also, so 2 to the squared times 2 to the power of 3. You, now using the index laws instead of um, what we've just done above, you can apply that and say 2 to the 2 squared plus 2 to the power of 2 out of 3. So 2 to the 2 plus 3, which equals 2 to the power of 5, which is what we've got up there. And that's proven why uh, we use the first index law. Okay.